Up front now, the former Pentagon military official who ran the covert government program up until this last November, Luis Elizondo. Luis, thank you so much for your time tonight. I mean, first, tell us what the purpose of the program was and why it was so secretive. Sure. Um, the purpose of the program, uh, Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, was really designed to do just that. Um, from a national security perspective, identify those things that we see, whether uh, we see them electro-optically, we see them with radar, we see them uh, as, uh, as eyewitness reports, um, through a myriad of different ways and avenues that we receive the information, and try to ascertain and determine if that information is a potential threat to national security, in a nutshell. So what did you find? Well, we found a lot. Um, I think uh, I think it's probably been a little bit mischaracterized in some of the the, the social media you see and 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 what people put out because a lot of times when we don't have a lot of information, we tend to fill in those gaps with what we think is logical. Uh, and there's still, by the way, a lot we really don't know. Um, I think what's important is that we have identified some very very interesting anomalous. Um, type of aircraft, let's call them aircraft. Things that don't have um, <coughs> any obvious flight surfaces, any obvious forms of propulsion, and maneuvering in ways um, that include extreme maneuverability beyond, uh, I would submit, the healthy G-forces of, uh, of a human or anything biological. Uh, hypersonic velocities, low observability, um, positive lift, again, seemingly in, in defying the laws of aerodynamics. So um, people so do are you talking. Think, I mean, I, you know, I know, but do you believe, you know, when, when you get that Navy pilot saying what he said, do you think that that was, um, you know, a UFO to obviously I don't have any other word to use or that well, or something else? Sure. That's a great question. Keeping in mind, it's not just the, the pilot's testimony on an observation. Sure. When when someone comes to you who is in charge of a multi-million dollar weapon platform, who maintains a top secret security clearance, who is paid and trusted by this country to go fight wars and and to fly over cities with with live munitions. Um, and by the way, they're trained observers with millions of dollars invested in their training. Yep. I would submit to you it's pretty compelling. But on top of that, it's not just the eyewitness testimony. It is it is actual electro optical data and radar returns. It's also people like uh, radar operators and air traffic controllers. So I think the discussion is should be maybe a little bit broader than that. I think people are focusing just on two videos uh, coming from a set of F-18s when when really it's 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 a lot lot more than that. So so you know recently I guess it was in October astronomers spotted uh, what they, they say could be the first interstellar astro asteroid. Um, you see it there, kind of that strange shape um, from beyond the solar system. What do you see when you look at that? Well, you know, Miss Burnett, I, I have to admit to you when when I ran this program, I was fundamentally looking at my colleagues looking at two things. Yeah. What is it and how does it work? Um, we have deliberately stayed away from going down the rabbit hole of who's behind the wheel and what are their intentions. Yeah. Because that, a lot of people have a lot of feelings towards that and, and are very emotional about that. And what I wanted to do was to allow the data to speak for itself and then use that data to inform leadership, senior DOD leadership, about the potential threat that, that these type of, of technologies pose to national security, especially over any type of controlled airspace that we might have. Um, so I'm not trying to be evasive uh, in any way or vague with your with your answer, but yeah, well, I think there's a lot of possibilities. Look, and I know you think it's important. I know you think that the government didn't take the threat seriously enough. So, so let me just ask you point blank the question: Do you believe that that life from somewhere else, while you ran this program, came here, visited, observed? I will tell you unequivocally that that through the observation, scientific methodologies that were applied to to look at this phenomena that these aircraft, we'll call them aircraft, are displaying characteristics that are not currently within the U.S. inventory nor in any foreign inventory that, that we are aware of. So I know you're using, uh, you're being clear, but I mean, the answer is yes. Um, my personal, I can't speak on behalf of the government. Obviously, okay. I'm, I'm not in the U.S. government anymore. My personal belief is that uh, there is very compelling evidence that we, uh, we may not be alone, whatever that means.